Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Our YouTube channel, and in the video today, we're looking at where does the dollar sign come from? The symbol first showed up in the 1770s, appearing in the documents of English Americans who had business dealings with Spanish Americans. However, it wasn't until the very early 1800s that it became popularized around the same time as the first official US dollars were being minted. Previous to this, the symbol had already been used as an abbreviation for names of Spanish currency, namely as an abbreviation for the Spanish peso, P. So how do you get from a P to the dollar sign? When writing financial documents referring to pesos, it was common to abbreviate the peso, for instance, one peso to one P. However, when pluralized as 1,000 pesos, it became PS. When writing up financial documents and having to write PS numerous times, it started to become common among the English-American colonists to merge the P and the superscripted S as one. The top half of this symbol then produces something looking very much like a double vertical line dollar sign. In an even further bout of laziness, it became common among the English-American colonists to write the P with just one downward stroke, vertically slashing the S, thus creating the dollar sign with a single line through it. In some of the earliest documents containing this shorthand, it was common to see both the double-slashed version as well as the single-slashed version in the same document, referring to the same thing, the Spanish peso. How then did this symbol that originally denoted pesos spread to also denote the US dollar? Around the same time the US was minting its first dollar coins in 1792, Spanish currency was extensively circulated in the US and around the world. In large part due to this, the US chose to design the US dollar coins to duplicate the Spanish coins in terms of matching the material and weight, hence value. At the time, the coins were made of silver and valued after the price of silver. Doing this allowed the US coin to be exchanged for a peso on a one-to-one -one exchange. Thus, it was natural to use the same symbol to denote the US dollar as was used for the Spanish peso. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do give us a like below and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you found this video interesting, consider sharing it with a friend. There are loads of social sharing options below this video, so just select one of those and share away. Also, over there on the right are a couple of videos you'll enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And thanks for watching.